Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I'd like to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. I received a question recently on a new treatment, and I wanted to address it. This is a gentleman who's got a corneal dystrophy called Fuchs corneal dystrophy. And this is a fluid buildup in the cornea, that's the clear window in the eye, And what happens in Fuchs dystrophy, which is genetically passed on from generation to generation, is that the cornea begins to swell, it thickens, and this leads to a lot of blurry, cloudy vision, uh, glare. It's difficult to actually get a pair of glasses that, that work well for it. And it tends to degenerate over years, although... I have used some of my own protocols to help slow the condition down. MSM eye drops are fabulous for Fuchs dystrophy. Castor oil eye massage is great in the evening. Continually increasing your fats and oils, eating a low anti-inflammatory diet. These are all things that we uh, propose when a person has Fuchs dystrophy. But there's a new drug treatment on the horizon, and it's called a ROC inhibitor. Reokinase inhibitors. That's actually the technical name of it. We're just going to call it ROC inhibitor. And a ROC inhibitor, in some of the latest research, is beginning to show some benefit for Fuchs dystrophy. <clears throat> now, some of the clinical trials in this rock pathway, it inhibits the rock pathway and it contributes to cardiovascular benefits, anti erectile dysfunction, anti hypertension, even some tumor metastasis inhibition. So for those of you that have glaucoma out there, rock inhibitors have been used to increase the circulation in the eye if you've been diagnosed with glaucoma. And the way it works here is that we know that glaucoma is an optic neuropathy and it has an accelerated effect targeting ganglion cell death, optic nerve death, and it's characterized by cupping in the optic nerve, progressive thinning in the retinal fiber layer, reduced visual fields. And so this ROC inhibitor has been reported through different research as a option for glaucoma management, doing a few things. It reduces intraocular pressure, it improves ocular blood flow, it inhibits scarring if there's uh, some kind of laser surgery done, and it also promotes the regeneration of retinal ganglion cell and axon uh, axon cells. Now, in the research around the cornea and how this may be supporting people who have corneal dystrophies like Fuchs dystrophy, there was a small study that was published in the Journal of Cornea, and there was a significantly statistical improvement in people who were given these ROC inhibitors. And these agents actually have been found to support better protein formation and improve endothelial health. Endothelial health is the back layer of the cornea 
that's really involved in the hydration of the cornea. So although it's a drug, you know, I'm not against pharmaceutical drugs if they're beneficial. And when you've got these very serious diseases like Fuchs dystrophy or glaucoma, this ROC inhibitor is a possible way for you to improve your eyesight and vision. And then you can do some of the more integrative medical things like increase your fats and oils, make sure you're getting enough vitamin A, B, C, the anato vitamin E, the, the carotenoids, lutein, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin, bilberry, um, ginkgo, taurine. So you're getting all these really healthy nutrients. And don't forget your trace minerals. Magnesium is a big one. Selenium, chromium, zinc. So if you're doing all these things, you eat a really healthy diet, plant-based, antioxidants, rainbow diet, get some berries into your diet, do a, a blue blocking filter for all screen time, and then my eye exercises and natural eye drops. If you're doing all these comprehensive things, this is what I see in my practice with glaucoma and with other very serious eye diseases. So I would add the ROC inhibitor to the Fuchs protocol, especially if your vision is going downhill and you don't want to get a corneal transplant. I would take a look at the ROC inhibitor as a possible option for you. So that's my show for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the Eye Clarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.